Whether you're a guest or a bridesmaid, a wedding is a great time to wear a soft romantic look like this one. I'm starting out with a bare face and I've got this cloth headband on because I'm going to be using my Boleto airbrush system. I want to warm up my complexion just a bit, so I'm using Sahara Sand as my base color which is just a bit darker than my color. For my base I put about 8 to 10 drops and mist the color all over my face in a circular motion. I always keep my hand moving so that the color isn't concentrated in one spot. To do a bit of light contouring, I'm using the color Sepia, but I'm decreasing the pressure of the airbrush machine so the color doesn't come out too harsh. And I'm not sure if you can see, but I'm not pulling the lever back all the way, just about halfway, so I'm getting just a little bit of color exactly where I want it. The last thing I want is streaky color, so I'm being really careful with the way I apply. And again, I'm using small circular motions. Next up for my blush, I'm using this gorgeous color called Bear Blossom. Same deal, low pressure on the machine, pulling the lever back just about halfway so I'm not depositing too much color. I'm just gonna build until I have exactly the amount of color I want, which is not a lot. Now, I have two new favorites from Boleto for bronzing and highlighting. I've got Sun Goddess and Bling It On. I'm using just a few drops of Sun Goddess to add some bronze to my face, and I'm gonna hold the wand further away from my face so I get a nice, even, all over glow. It's just a hint of bronze, but it's a nice touch. Next, I'm going to highlight with Bling It On. This is gonna go just over my cheekbones for a hint of shimmering gold highlight. And again, I don't wanna overdo this just until I get that perfect amount of glow. And there it is. Okay, I'm ready to move on to the eye makeup. I'm using my Urban Decay Naked 3 palette since it's got a lot of rosy, warm shades. I'm starting out by applying Trick all over my lid, and this color doesn't go on very opaque, so I'm applying it wet so that the color shows up nice and rich. Using a blending brush, I'm taking Factory and running this along my crease. This is gonna act as my transition color and that'll make everything look nice and blended. And now with another blending brush, I'm just gonna go in and blend out those edges. And to add some more depth, I'm taking Black Heart and applying this, starting at the outer corner of my crease and then blending over and across my crease. Now I'm taking that blending brush and dipping into Nooner and blending out the harsh edges of the darker color. And just to bridge the lighter and darker colors, I'm taking Wire and using it to blend Trick and Blackheart together for more of a gradient effect. Okay, it's time to hit the bottom lash line. I'm taking Trick once again and running this all along my bottom lash line from inner corner to outer corner. Once again, I'm using this color Wet. And with that same brush, I'm gonna go in and dip into Dust, which is a very pale, shimmery color, and apply this just at the very inner corners to add a pop of highlight. And now using a straight brush, I'm gonna darken the outer corner of my lash line by applying a bit of black heart. More sparkle! I'm gonna take my Stila Magnificent Metals Foil Eyeshadow in Metallic Peach, and I'm just applying this at the inner part of my lower lash line to make this a more flirty look. And now I'm just lightly lining the top lash line and the inner rim of my lash line as well. I want the focus to be the shimmering rose, pearl, and gold tones, so I'm taking it easy on the liner. And of course, I'm gonna add some long wispy lashes using these Ardell lashes called, what else, wispies. But first, I'm gonna add a coat of mascara to my top and bottom lash line. And just lowering those falsies onto my lash line. Since there's not much liner to camouflage the strip of the lashes, I have to get them as close to my lash line as possible. Okay, so I went ahead and filled my brows and I'll do the lips after the hair is done. So for my hair, I don't really like structured, polished updos or anything. I like a more relaxed look. So I'm gonna use my new Me Lustrum set to create big curls using the biggest barrel size. But first, I'm gonna spray my hair with a good heat protectant. So 
So you've seen me do this before, just sectioning off my hair and wrapping the sections around the barrel, leaving the last inch of my hair out. And of course, I'm just doing this to all the sections of my hair. And once I'm done and the hair has cooled down, I'm gonna run my fingers through the roots and shake up the curls so they come undone just a bit. This way I get a lot more volume. So I'm just gonna give this a spray to hold and I can leave it this way or I can add a very simple style to it. I'm just gonna gather the hair around my forehead and very lightly pull it back so that it's not flat against my head. Instead, it's got a bit of messy volume at the top. And now I'm just gonna take a sturdy pin and secure the hair back. And doing the same thing on the other side. You can determine how much hair you want to pull back based on your taste and the shape of your face. Okay, so once the hair is secured, I'm gonna take a brush and add some more volume by brushing the hair up first and then brushing lightly through it just to smooth it out. It's a bit of a retro hairstyle, but it's fun and youthful and I love all this volume. Okay, now back to the makeup. I'm gonna apply my Lorac Alter Ego Lipstick in Socialite, but I'm applying it very lightly and blotting it out with my finger. I'm gonna go over this with my lip gloss in Peach Luster to finish it off. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this soft, romantic look that's great for a guest of a wedding or for a bridesmaid. And don't forget to check the description box for some great discount codes for Boletto and Numi. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.